Hi, welcome, Stephen Boyle from Master Republic, and today I just want to talk to you about hungry marketplace and engagement and getting response and getting results. Now, we're working on a, a global campaign for a, a client where we're running, one team is running a sales prospecting campaign in the UK, another team is running across other different regions, working around the world, working across the Middle East, across Africa and other places as well. Now, in the UK, we're finding it really difficult. You know, it's a tough marketplace and the responses are low. Getting people on the phone, getting people engaged and qualifying opportunities for our, for our client is actually quite hard. Now, Middle East and Africa, we're absolutely getting some amazing results. A client even not sure how he can cope with the, the number of results, actually, which is our ideal scenario, actually, is actually bombarding and really filling a pipeline with some fantastic opportunities with huge organisations. So it could be amazing for our client. Now, we're using the same messaging across both markets. It just shows you what's really got us thinking on this particular campaign. Same message, same profile organisations, but in different geographies. And certain geographies are really open to suggestion and really responsive, really keen to actually find out more. You know, it's, it's almost, you know, an obvious process where they take us to the next step, you know, without us really having to push too hard. Whereas in the UK, they're kind of bombarded, they're much more hard nosed about this proposition. It just shows you, if you're getting you know, poor response from your sales prospecting, maybe it's got to think differently. Maybe you are you know, prospecting to a hungry marketplace, okay, in which case it's much easier. But if you are prospecting to a maybe a commoditized market or a market you're much harder to respond to or the type of people you speak to are much harder to actually get a response and get on the telephone and actually qualify. So you've got to think differently. You've got to actually make sure that you mix up, you test, you change your approach. It doesn't mean that they're not going to. If you've got proof at your marketplace and when you do work with you know, clients, you've got some amazing results, great case studies and success stories and people love what you do, but you're really struggling to actually open the door with new, new clients, well, just think about the messaging. With our campaigns, we're building data, we're building email sequences, we're then getting responses from those emails to ultimately get people on the telephone, to then qualify them, establish fit, then hand over to our client sales teams. So it's really important that we get some good response on email to enable us to set up calls with those people, qualify them and take it further. But you know, if it's not working, look, we don't get it right every single time, but we've got enough experience to actually know how to mix things up and how to change it. But it shows you sometimes you think, okay, well, this is terrible, this is hard work. And it, sometimes it is, if it is a really tough marketplace to crack. But just think, if it was you, you know, if you, you were waiting for an email or an email came into you, what would get you to respond? What would intrigue you? This is what it's all about, is it intrigue to and go, you know, Tell me more. That's what. That's the ideal scenario. Once you get those people on the phone, you ask the right questions, you engage, you qualify, you take them further forward, you'll get results. But you've just got to think, what is it going to work? You know, what message is going to work to actually get those people to say, "Yep, yeah, I'm the person responsible." Sounds, you know, sounds like it could be interesting. Let's have a let's have a call. That's you know the perfect scenario. But if it just isn't working, you know, just make sure you maybe. You know, test things, maybe a little bit funny, a bit, a bit cheeky, a little bit more, you know, talk about case studies, talk about you help people, but short, concise, and don't give, give all the, the message away in the very first email or any of the emails, really. You want to get people to say, that. I like the sound of this, what you've hinted at there, tell me a bit more information. So there you go. There's my tip for today. You know, make sure that you're testing all the time anyway, continually test. It's the number one rule in any sales and marketing. Don't just be, you know, be complacent. Even if you've got something really working well, you know, test against that all the time as well. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.